Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the Pat McGrath Blitz Astral Quad in Ritualistic Rose. That's a bit of a tongue twister for me. Anyway, this is the third and final quad that I will be doing a video on. Uh, I did one for Iconic Illumination, that's the first one in the red box, and then I did one for Nocturnal Nirvana, and that was the one in the blue box. So this is the one that comes in the pink box, this is the one that has a very pink color story. So we'll be doing some swatches today, I'll be sharing some of my thoughts with you, uh, and we'll be doing a demo on this eye look. I purchased this for $65 off of the Sephora site, and like the other uh, quads, this one is housed in a small cardboard box and here are the ingredients on the back. And then inside there is a card with all of the shade names. And then here is the packaging of the quad. Again, the same as the other two quads and it's like a mini version of her mothership palettes. It has that gold plate on the back. It's very, very weighty. And when you open it up, it has a mirror on the inside and then here are the four shades. So if you watch my other two videos on the other two quads, all of this is going to be very, very redundant. So I apologize. But if this is your uh, first Blitz Astral Quad video that you're watching of mine, or the first video of mine that you're watching, hello, how are you? Um, I just wanna mention that the four shades in this quad are of Pat McGrath's special formula. So in her Mothership palettes, those are the big 10 pan palettes. These palettes, and this is the Mothership 2 Sublime palette, um, they have these four shades at the end that are always of a different formula. They're always what I like to call the party shades because they're very glittery, sparkly. Uh, some of them are topper, some of them are very pigmented, some of them are duochrome. So they're very exciting, these four shades. And then her six shades over here are a little bit more of a traditional formula. Um, they're either like a matte, so they're like a pressed powder, or they're like a cream to powder formula, or like a pressed glitter, but they're all of like a pressed formula. So they're a little bit more traditional or typical, if you will, where these four at the end are, are baked and very different from the others. It's almost as if you were to like break off the last four shades of these Mothership palettes, you would end up with these Blitz Astral Quads. So let's go ahead and take a look at the swatches of these four shades. I went from left to right, top to bottom. So starting at the left, we have Antique Gold, 002, then we have Astral Rose Orchid, then we have Rose Quartz 005, and then last we have Beyond Bronze 003. So even though the four shades in here are all of that baked variety, they're all very glittery, they're all very exciting and bright, um, there are like differences or variations within these like fun shades, and these three shades I wanna say are like the smoothest. And this one up here has a little bit more of a chunky glitter going on. It's also a little bit more of like a duochrome than the others. The others are just very, very high shine. There's micro glitters in there. And so they're very, they're all very, very beautiful. But this one has just a little bit more of a duochrome shift in there. It goes from like pink to gold. I think maybe you can see that in the camera, but this one definitely has like a shift to it. So much like the other two quads, I I love this one. This one is beautiful. I, you know, I've been sitting here like trying to think, you know, is this one my favorite? Which one's my favorite? Which is the first one I'd run out and get if I lost them all, let's say. I don't know. I love them all for such different reasons. This one I just love because I don't generally wear just pink, straight up pink eyeshadow. I prefer something either a little bit more peach or even a little bit more purpley, which is not what I wear very often either. But those colors just tend to appeal to me a little bit more when it comes to eyeshadow. I think when I look at pink eyeshadow, I always see kind of like, I don't know, it's just gonna make me look ill or it's just gonna make my eyes look puffy, you know, just like pink. I don't know, I've just never been that attracted to pink for eyeshadow. So while I thought this looked incredibly beautiful, like, you know, when I looked at this palette, I wasn't exactly sure how much I was going to like it. And um, this is probably the third, the third look that I've done with this quad. And I just, I love it. I think it's the tone of the pinks that really works for me because they're a little bit on the cool side. This one is probably neutral and then this one is a little bit cool. It has just a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see, just a little bit of like a wine kind of like 
tinge to it, so it's a little bit cooler. I think warmer pinks tend to make my eyes look puffy. I think that is the kind of pink that I'm a little bit afraid of. But once I got this on the lids, I noticed how cool it was, and oh my god, I just fell in love with it. I put it all over my lids, which you'll see in the demo. I put it all over my lids, and I just thought it looked so, so beautiful. And then this pink, it has enough of that duochrome shift that when you put it onto your lids, it actually looks a little bit more gold than pink. Um, and I have that kind of tapped onto the center of my lids there. So I am just really, really smitten with this quad. I love all the quads. The Nocturnal Nirvana, the blue one with the like bright green and the purple and the blue, that one I, I was probably most surprised about. Um, those really aren't colors that I wear often at all. They're just, they're so bright and they're so bold and I just loved it so much. The Iconic Illumination was the one that I expected to like the most, I expected to want to reach for the most, but I think it's gonna be this one. This one to me is a little bit more, dare I say, everyday. I mean, none of these palettes are very everyday because all of the shades in here are shimmery. There's no mattes, there are no satins. I mean, these are all super high shine, glittery, micro glittery, colors. So I wouldn't necessarily call any of them every day, but this one probably is the most every day. Now, the one thing I will say is, and I mentioned this in my other videos, that when I use natural hair brushes, I experience a lot less fallout with these shades. And these shades, if you aren't careful, um, you will experience a lot of fallout because they're so glittery and some of them are so chunky. So when I was careful with the other two quads, I felt like there was no fallout. Maybe a little bit when I used some of the more chunky shades. This quad, even though I was just as careful using this one as the other ones, I did experience more fallout with this one. So with all of the shades here, I did experience to some degree a little bit of fallout. Nothing crazy, nothing that I couldn't kind of like just brush away very easily, but I noticed I got more fallout with this quad than the others. Even though I used similar brushes and I kind of pressed and kind of patted the shadows on before going in and kind of swiping back and forth. So that was just my personal experience with this quad. Definitely not a deal breaker. Again, I wiped away the fallout very, very easily. So the only shade out of all three of these quads that I felt like I had a little bit of issue with was the purple in the Nocturnal Nirvana. Um, that one, I just felt like I applied it and then it seemed to fade. And then I applied it, I applied a little bit more on top and then it seemed to fade a little bit. So I'm not sure what is going on with that one. I think maybe the undertone of it, the black really kind of like eats it up a little bit. You know, it just doesn't let the purple shine through. I'm not exactly sure. It's still an incredibly beautiful color just compared to how vibrant all of the other shadows have been in all four of the quads. It was just a little bit disappointing to me. It just wasn't quite as like super bright as it looked in the pan. So let's quick go through some of the other Mothership palettes and see if there are any kind of comparisons that we can make with this quad. So while I'm getting all of my Mothership palettes together, I just want to just mention briefly that I hurt my back the other day uh, just working out, nothing major, but it hurts so badly to be sitting here. So I apologize if it seems like I'm cutting this video a little bit short. I just want to get out of this chair and like maybe soak in a bath, which is what I did yesterday and it helped a lot. So anyway, let's start with Mothership One. So the gold in the Mothership One palette actually looks very, very close to the gold in here. So let's do a quick swatch of those two. So here's the one from Mothership One. And then here's the one from the Ritualistic Rose. So Ritualistic Rose is a lot uh, deeper than the Mothership one. The Mothership one looks uh, cooler toned also, a little bit more white based. And that's it for Mothership one. Let's take a look at Mothership two, which is Sublime. That is this guy over here. Oh, the Astral Rose Orchid in the quad actually looks similar to this shade over here. So let me go ahead and swatch those two. Okay, here's the shade from the Mothership two Sublime palette. And here's the shade from the Blitz Astral Quad. They have like a similar story to them, but this one, like the quad looks a little bit cooler in tone. This one looks a little bit more peachy. This one looks a little bit more orchidy gold. Similar though. And here is the Subversive Mothership 3 palette. This one looks kind of close. To, well, it's a little bit more of a duochromey. Well, let's go ahead and swatch it. So I'll swatch this one against the pink shade 
in the quad, which is this guy right here. Oh, these are really different. <laughs> so this one is from Subversive, and then this one is from the quad. So the quad, as you can see, is um, deeper in tone, and then this one has kind of a very exciting shift <laughs> going on there. And then I'm gonna skip over Mothership for the Decadence palette because all of those are like of the press formula. None of them are the um, special baked formula. So this is Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. I'm gonna swatch this one next to the duochrome one here in the quad because they look kind of similar in the pan. I feel like they will swatch differently. So this one is from Bronze Seduction. And then this one is from the quad. Yeah, so the one from the quad is, is like duochrome. It has that gold shift. So again, this was from Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. And then this one is from the quad. And here's Mothership 6 Midnight Sun. This gold is actually very similar to the gold in the Ritualistic Rose. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch those two. So here's the one from Midnight Sun. And here is the one from Ritualistic Rose. So very, very close, and they have the same kind of appearance. So again, Midnight Sun, Ritualistic Rose Quad. I just had to look up what the shade name was in the Midnight Sun because as I understand it, there are no repeats in the three quads that she came out with. All of these shades are supposed to be brand new. So I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't indeed like a repeat. So this one is called uh, Antique Gold 002, and the one in the Midnight Sun is called Jubilee. So they are different shades. Anyway, I just wanted to look that up just to be sure I wasn't going crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the demo. I'm gonna start with my Sonia G Blender Pro Brush and go into the pink color here. That one is called Rose Quartz 005. And I'm going to press that in to my lid. Again, using small motions, and I'm bringing that all the way up. I'm just going to take a clean blending brush. This is the Esam G34 brush, and I'm just going to drag it along the top edge to make it look a little less severe. Next, I'm going to take my Sonia G Builder 3 brush. I'm going to go into the brown shade down here. That one is Beyond Bronze 003. I'm going to add this to the outer corner for some dimension. I'm going to take my Sonia G Pencil 1 brush, go back into that brown bronze shade, and drag this along my lower lash line. And I'm just focusing that on the outer half. Okay, next I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into this top right hand shade. That one is Astral Rose Orchid. And I'm gonna tap this onto the center of my lid. And I got some fallout with that one. Then I'm gonna take my Sonia G Builder One brush. I'm gonna go into the gold shade, which is Antique Gold 002. Pop this on my inner corner and then drag some onto my lower lash line. Okay, that's it for the eyeshadow quad. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my whole look off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so here is my final look. I will have all the details down below in my description box. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video.